Hey folks, this is Kalani. There are some huge changes to the amount of experience needed to level up in the War Within, with up to 80% less XP needed for some portions of the leveling adventure. We're also going to see all mounts unlock earlier, including flying mounts and even the dragon riding system, so that's going to help you zip around at much lower levels. And then there are new sources of account-wide bonus experience gains to earn as part of the War Band system. So let's go over all of these huge leveling changes changes and how they make leveling faster than ever before. Now before we jump in, be sure to hit up that like button and subscribe so you never miss another video. Let's kick things off by going over these massive experience requirement reductions, because that's going to be the main factor that will speed up leveling in the new expansion. With the War Within Alpha test now active, we can see how much experience is required to level up, all the way from level 1 to level 80, and there are some massive differences when compared to the experience requirements on live servers especially. Wowhead posted this handy dandy chart, and if you're unsure how to read this, the 0% line is the experience requirements for live servers. So anytime the blue line goes above 0%, that is an increase in experience needed to get those levels. And then anytime the line goes below, like we can see it does for the vast majority of the leveling process, that indicates less experience required to level. So for levels 1 to 10, you're actually going to need a little bit more experience to get those levels under your belt, so it's going to take a bit longer to get to level 10, which is quite interesting, but the big XP reductions start to come in after that. There's about a 20% reduction in experience required to get from level 20 to 50, a 20 to 40% reduction for experience needed for levels 50 to 60, and then the XP requirements drop off a cliff, being reduced by up to 80% for levels 60 to 70. So everything except that first little portion up to level 10 will be quite a bit faster when compared to Dragonflight, but starting at level 50 you'll really start to see the massive difference in leveling speed, with 60 to 70 being insanely quick. With such a large difference, it's kind of like only needing to get to level 62 or 63, the same experience or effort or time that it takes you to get to 62 or 63 right now in Dragonflight could get you to level 70 in the War Within. It's going to be that much faster. If you interested, it looks like overall from 1 to 70 we're going to see about 55% less experience needed, so leveling should be more than twice as fast when compared to live servers right now. Personally, I think this is a great change, for a couple of reasons. Leveling through 1 to 70 needs to be a smooth experience in the new expansion, because that's what newer players are going to have to track through. If it remained the same, you'd get up to level 60 and hit this huge experience requirement wall, slowing things down significantly, which isn't great when you have another 20 levels to go before you hit max. Having that be a quicker experience isn't a bad thing when the vast majority of players are waiting at the very end of it. It's kind of always been a problem, where the latest experience expansion is all that really matters, so sometimes it feels like the game doesn't even really start until you get caught up with everyone else. This can be compounded if you have friends trying to introduce you to the game, but they're already max level and they're there waiting for you. It is an awkward balancing act, but I think these changes should be good for the game overall. I wouldn't be surprised if the dev team tried to keep the level up to the latest expansion portion of leveling about the same in terms of time investment. The idea being getting from 1 to 7 70 for the War Within should take about as long as 1 to 60 did for Dragonflight, and that would really separate the game between those two distinct sections of leveling up to catch up with the next expansion and the current expansion's worth of content. That would be really smart, in my opinion, and I would be curious to see how long it would take to go from 1 to 70 with these new experience numbers in place. The other, more important change is that these lowered experience requirements should smooth out how long it takes to level as you get higher and higher. There are points where leveling slows down significantly, which can be demotivating to newer players, so reducing those big experience jumps might help to retain more players through the leveling experience as well. That's not the only change that will speed up leveling though, we will also unlock flying much earlier in the War Within. Currently on live servers we learn ground mounts at level 10, faster ground mounts at level 20, flying at level 30, and then faster flying at level 40. In the War Within Alpha you learn ground mounts at level 10, but it's journeyman riding right from the get go, so they're cutting out the slower ground mounts and just letting you go straight to 100% increased speed. That's nice by itself and will speed up those next 10 levels, but we will also be learning flying at level 20 by the looks of things, including the ability to swap between static and dynamic flight, so that means we should be able to drag and ride from level 20 as well. 
Now that's what we can see on the alpha, but in a recent Blizzard video, they actually said that we might be able to learn dragon riding as early as level 15. So that might not have made it into the alpha just yet, but being able to not only fly, but dragon ride from level 15 is going to be absolutely insane. They also noted that newer players will be able to progress through and unlock dragon riding talents as they level up, so they might not be tied to collecting dragon glyphs at all anymore. So that's another interesting talent system to unlock more fun and power in as you level up. It does kind of make sense though, from what I understand the plan for the War Within leveling experience was to make the Dragon Isles and Dragon Flight leveling progression to be the baseline default option outside of Chromie time. That's also great for new players because Dragon Flight is a much better leveling experience when compared to Battle for Azeroth in my opinion, and you don't really need any backstory to jump straight into the Dragon Isles story. Trying to level through the Dragon Isles without Dragon Riding just wouldn't work, so they'll have to give you access to that quite early on. Level Level 15 is still kind of bonkers though, but I guess if you're starting Dragon Isles at level 10, it sounds about right. This is going to be the soonest we have ever had access to flying, and with it being dynamic flight or dragon riding, that's going to make getting around much faster, but also a lot more fun for anyone who hasn't experienced that system yet. Jumping in and playing World of Warcraft for the first time is going to be very different after the War Within Ghost Live, that's for sure. As a fun little side note, Evokers will be starting at level 10 alongside pretty much everyone else in the War Within, and they gain access to flying as soon as they learn their Soar ability, so that will be even earlier than everyone else. Drakthir will also be able to swap between dynamic and static flight with their Soar ability, so you can use both flying styles with your own wings. It's about time. And on top of all of that, we have confirmation that Drakthir will actually be able to play other races sometime after the War Within launches, so you'll be able to play more than just an evoker, you'll be able to be a Drakthir warrior, hunter, maybe a mage or priest. We don't have any solid details just yet, but we do know more classes are coming for the Drakthir race, and they will be able to stay in their visage form in combat, so you don't have to run around as a Drakthir dragon if you really don't want to. So lots of changes coming for the Drakthir and their leveling experience. And then we'll be able to speed up leveling even further by getting to max level on multiple characters. You heard me right, getting to max level provides you with a permanent bonus experience boost for every other character on your account. This will be part of the new Warband system. There's a new achievement called One Warband Mentor that prevents you with a 5% buff to all experience gains on any other character up to level 80. So it's not just that war within the leveling portion, it's for everything. All you have to do to get that achievement is to reach level 80, which is the new max level in the War Within on one character. So that's pretty cool, right? An extra 5% buff will definitely speed things up, but it's not just one achievement. There are up to five Warband Mentor achievements that we know of so far. So if you get five characters to max level, everyone else on your account will get a 25% bonus to all experience gains. So after you get one character to max level, everything's gonna be faster. And then the more you get to max level, everyone after those will be even faster as well, up to that current 25% cap. That is a really interesting change, and honestly should have been in the game already. I feel like this is what heirlooms should have been, but I'm glad we're finally seeing this kind of buff coming in the War Within, and it's definitely going to make me more likely to level more of my characters early on. With those massive experience requirement adjustments, and the potential 25% bonus from the Warband max level character achievements, and unlocking flying sooner than ever before, you are going to end up leveling super quickly on some of your later alts. I also do think this will end up being a much better new player experience. Not only do you get to use the super fun dynamic flight system very early to help you get around, but you'll be leveling pretty quickly, which lets you tinker around with talents on the way to max level, and then the entire warband system is such a breath of fresh air that you're not suddenly met with these massive walls of alt unfriendliness in the end game. I think we could see a lot of new players start up WoW and actually keep playing because of how much more accessible things are being made in the new expansion. But that's how leveling is going to be so much faster in the War Within, so that's it for this video. What do you think of the massive experience reduction to get up to level 70? Is leveling fast to get to the latest expansion a good thing, or can leveling too fast actually be a bad thing? Leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and to all of our members here on YouTube. You can see the names floating by on screen. If you'd like to add your name to the end of every video with a special shout out at the start of the next video, you can find links in the description of Patreon or click the join button 
button just below this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.